Hey there, kamusta? In this video, we will discuss the succeeding topics by request in both Filipino and English language. Specifically, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify minerals and differentiate minerals based on their chemical and physical characteristics. Ang geosphere ay isa sa apat na subsystem na ating natalakay sa nakarang pag-aaral. Geosphere is composed of rocks and minerals which overlaps and interacts with other subsystems driving the Earth's system in harmony and balance, which in turn allows life to exist in a planet. Minerals can be defined as a naturally occurring inorganic solid with a definite composition and has an ordered internal structure. This orderliness gives every mineral their unique characteristics. Minerals are mostly composed of elements abundant in the Earth's crust. These compositions may also be used in classifying the type of mineral. Under chemical classification, silicates are mostly composed of silicon oxygen tetrahedrons, which are major rock forming minerals. Oxides are minerals consist of metal cations bonded with oxygen anions. Sulfides consist of metal cations bonded with sulfide. While sulfates are minerals consist of metal cation bonded with sulfate anionic group. Halides on the other hand are composed of any halogen ion which usually forms salts. And carbonates are characterized by the presence of carbonic ions. Finally, native metals which consist of any single metal. Base sa mga nabanggit na komposisyon, matutukoy natin kung saan nakabahagi ang isang mineral. One of the characteristics mentioned for a mineral is that they are solid. Thus, minerals have a crystalline structure. The structural integrity of crystals is dependent on their chemical composition. Their crystal structure may be grouped in any of the six crystal systems. Dahil base ang struktura ng crystal sa komposisyon nito, maaari ding matukoy ang klase ng mineral sa pagkilatis ng physical nitong anyo. There are 4,000 minerals which has their own unique physical properties. Crystal form refers to the structure of a mineral as a result of its chemical composition. Habit, based from its crystal form, is the outward appearance of a mineral. It may be described as having a grain-like structure to having large crystallized form, which can be described as any of the following. Not all minerals are created equal. Maari din na ang isang mineral ay mahati o mabasag sa maliliit na bahagi. The strength of mineral in resisting breakage is also dependent on its molecular bonding or structure. The pattern in which a crystal breaks is called cleavage. And this breakage may come in many directions. An excellent cleavage breaks into smooth and flat parallel surfaces. A good cleavage breaks into small but smooth flat-like surfaces. And minerals described as having an irregular breakage has a poor cleavage, while absence of cleavage or fracturing is a result of an irregular and unidentifiable manner of pattern. Isa din sa physical na karakteristik ng mineral ay ang kanyang kinang o luster. Luster refers to how light appears as it is reflected off of its surface. The following are mineral lusters which changes from polished metal appearance to dull and earthy. Magkakaiba din ang kulay ng mga mineral. Ngunit ang kulay ng isang mineral ay maaaring maapektuhan at mabago dahil sa mga impurity. Colors of minerals may be affected by impurity from chemical contamination or alteration while the mineral undergoes structural formation. Streak can be a much more reliable identification of color in minerals, as streak is the color of minerals in its powdered form. Hardness is the measure of mineral strength. This can be measured using the Moss scale of hardness. 
where MOS scale 1 is the scale for the softest mineral, while 10 represents the hardest. Density is a measurement of weight of a mineral relative to weight of an equal volume of water. Other properties of minerals can also exhibit magnetism, taste, effervescence, or reactions to acid and its feel or texture. Minerals forms rocks, and the most common rock-forming minerals are composed of silicon, oxygen, aluminum, and other traces of elements. Rocks will be tackled in our next discussion. To recap, you learned about what minerals are and the different minerals based on their chemical and physical characteristics. Let's check what you've learned. Try to answer the following questions. What are minerals? What are the classification of minerals based on their composition? And what are the physical characteristics of minerals? Thanks for watching and I appreciate your time. See you on the next one.